Right. Okay, before we start the revisions, may I know what are the problems that are faced by you? So that we tackle the problem that are faced by you first. Any issue while doing the revisions? No feedback means everything is okay, is it? Or haven't started your revision yet? Hello, class? So, no problem. Any issue or not while you do re revisions? Okay, if no, then we go to the... Uh, can can you yeah, say something? I say no. Problem, yeah? Okay, so uh, no... Sir, Sorry? Uh, for, uh, uh, sir. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear you, breaking? Oh. So now, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, may I ask for our exam or can we, can we, we can, we can choose either write on the paper or we type on the word file, right? Uh, previously, how is your exam doing? Uh, we write on the paper. You write on the paper, yes. Because uh, you, if you, if you type, then you may, you may, you may cut and paste, right? So uh, write it and then after they scan it and, and, and submit. Uh, okay. okay. You get it? Thank you. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. okay. So you need to on your camera uh, during the exam time. The rules and regulations same as the last exam. Okay. And uh, you for this paper, you have two and a half hours uh, exam time. And you need to answer four questions. Okay. No choice. Uh. No, uh, you cannot choose which question to answer. You need to answer all the questions within two and a half hours time. And then after that, you got a half an hour's time to uh, submit your script, okay? If you submit late by, uh, uh, let's say, the 30 minutes, you submit by the 40 minutes, then your marks will be deducted by 10, 10 marks, okay? That is quite a lot, huh? And if it's more than one hour, it, it will be the, the directly downgrade to zero, okay? So uh, make sure that you are doing, you, know, you control your time well, and make sure that your gadget, your devices, everything is okay. Right. Okay. Now let's go to the uh, technological uh, uh, revision of technological part. Okay. When in the technology, we are talking about the uh, first thing first. You need to understand what does it mean by technology. Okay. Uh, can you see my screen? Basically, I'm projecting the 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 lecture notes lah. Okay, can you see my screen? Uh, can, can. All right. Okay, so in this, uh, for the exam, and again, I, 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 I uh, let you know earlier, but again, I just remind you, we are focused on the technology and society, energy, resources, and pollutions, okay? So the safe engineering safety that we have talked about in the last uh, lecture and the uh, code of ethic and code of uh, conduct that we uh, talked about it during the early early stage of the lecture are not included in the exam, okay? So when you do your revision, you focus on technology and society and then on the uh, environment, so resources and also the energy side, okay? So now, when we talk about this, uh, Technology, the, the main things that you need to know is we are talking about the uh, we are talking about the interrelationship between technology and society, isn't it? So the relationship between these two you must know. And in order for you to answer the question well, you must know what is the definition of society and what is the society change and also the non definition of uh, technology. Okay. We always start with the definition because the, when you answer the question, when you have a uh, definitions. You know the definitions, then you know the scope of your answer. Okay. Now, when we come to the society, 
uh, at the end of the lecture of this chapter, we are also talking about the nine elements model, isn't it? Right? If you are you, if you get stuck, you do not know how to answer the changes on the society, you may want to use a nine elements model to help you up. Okay. Now, when you're when talking about the changes of the technology to the society, actually you can prepare beforehand. Uh, what do you mean by prepare beforehand? You can just get any technology. Uh, for example, telephone or, or, or this or Wi-Fi or whatever, and then you discuss about uh, the, the influence on the society, okay? So after you got this answer out, if let's say in the exam question is asking you about, let's say asking you about bicycle or whatever, then at least you already have some idea as how, how to answer the question. And also you are, some, some of the point, it could be similar, all right? Okay? So this is the uh, characteristic of the, uh, uh, this is the society and engineer, yeah? And then this is another def definitions, okay? So for the technology that uh, manifestation of technology, it can be uh, in the artifact form, human activities and know-how or knowledge, okay? Basically, this one is the characteristic of the technology, yeah? This is the characteristic of the technology. If the question asks you, is a uh, handphone considered a technology in Malaysian context, all right? So you need to check all these five characteristics one by one, okay? For example, is it a form of human cultural activity in Malaysia that using handphone? Okay, if yes, then uh, you may discuss about what, yeah, it is a form of human cultural activity in the Malaysia context, okay? Uh, involve uh, making choices in response to a normative value? Yes. Okay, you explain why it is uh, making choices. And then is it forming and transform the material world? Then you discuss whether the handphone has transformed the material world or not. Okay, so you evaluate one by one. And if let's say there are three yes, two no, then you can say that highly likely the uh, technology, the handphone is considered as a technology in the uh, society okay if all the five are yes then for sure that you can say that uh, handphone is considered as a technology in Malaysia currently because it meet the characteristic of uh, technology right if let's say you after you, you you evaluate one by one and then you find out that uh, yeah it is not uh, uh, only one form of cultural activity is a uh, related to handphone, others are not related to handphone, then in that case, your answer will be no. Uh, uh, why handphone is not a technology in Malaysia because it's only meeting the, out of the five characteristics, it's only meeting one characteristic of it. That is a form of human cultural activity. Do you get me? This is how we judge the uh, technology, okay? If let's say the question chain and ask you, uh, define technology and what are the characteristics of technology. Then define the technology, you can use back these definitions, okay? And then what are the characteristics of technology? Then you, you explain, uh, this one is in point form, but you explain it in the essay form, okay? 1.1 one one, one paragraph, 1.1 one one paragraph. Don't put jump, don't, don't, don't all put all into one paragraph, okay? So, or if the, if the question asking, what is technology? Okay, and give uh, an and uh, give an example to illustrate your answer. So in this case, what is technology? And give an example to illustrate your answer. Again, even though the question is changed, but your answer is still the same. Okay, let's say you choose a calculator. Okay, then in that case, you use the definitions of the uh, you use the definitions of the. Uh, calculator, you say that calculator is a knowledge dealing with creation and use of technical means, blah, blah, blah. So the calculator is meeting these uh, definitions. And then after that, you evaluate the characteristic of calculator one by one. Okay. And then uh, because this one is asking you to choose a choice of a, of an item and then to, whether, to evaluate whether it is a technology or not, then you evaluate one by one. Then the same thing, it can be a technology or it cannot be a technology depending on your answer, okay? So you see the question can ask you in three different ways, but your answer is still the same. 
if you if you if you understand what is the lecture notes say, then it will be very easy for you. Okay, so it's not just a memorizing work. So this is the way how you and how you evaluate the technology. Or in other words, if I ask you, let me see what I uh, can I ask you. Uh, okay. If I ask you uh, a clone, okay, compare the clone and uh, televisions, okay, uh, see which one is considered as a technology in Malaysia, okay. So in then you you also use these five characteristics and the definitions to compare, okay. If clone, if clone, clone is not form of a human cultural activity in Malaysia, right? Okay, and it does not involve uh, forming and transforming the material world. So highly likely after you analysis, analyze these five factors, you will find that uh, maybe all or, or four factors are not uh, related to clone. Okay, C-L-O-N-E, uh, clone technology. So in that case, you can see that clone is not considered as a technology, but when you, when you evaluate the, the televisions, then you will find that it involves all the five uh, factors. Then you can say that, uh, clone is not a technology in Malaysia, but uh, this, uh, what we say, television is considered as a technology in Malaysia. Okay, up to here, any question? No question, huh? Okay, so if after this, then we get, if you don't use this characteristic to, to answer, this is one of the easiest way to answer. Lah. Then you can use this pyramid, okay? So the same thing, you evaluate one by one. And then you can use uh, or use this uh, tri triangle site to evaluate your technology. Okay, so it's about the technology and the definitions there. Yeah? And now, if I ask you what is the difference between, we always say that science and technology is, uh, is very important for the development of society. What is the difference? What is the main difference between science and technology? Then you need to get these definitions, okay? And you compare this definition with the uh, definition of technology and then you see what are the differences okay one is a knowledge and then one is the group of methods to assert about the nature okay is the confirming uh, is uh, sign is a method of the purpose of discussing creating confirming disconfirming recognizing and disseminating truth assertion about nature, okay, about true assertion about nature, but technology is a knowledge that we apply uh, to solve the problem, okay? So this is the, the difference uh, between science and technology, okay? If I give you a, a question, uh, the, the, the first part maybe uh, discuss what is the difference between science and technology, okay? Then second part may ask you, uh, discuss whether uh, uh, this, uh, Synthesis of, uh, not synthesis, okay? The study of the nature of metal, ethyl, ketone, and uh, handphone. Which one is science and which one is technology? So you based on this, uh, these definitions, then you're going to dis discuss. A study on the metal, ethyl, ketone is actually confirming the true assertions about the nature, okay? So this uh, study of metal, ethyl, ketone is considered as a science. And then the handphone emit the characteristic of the five, five uh, characteristic. Then it is uh, considered as a technology. Or in other ways, you can uh, you can uh, uh, you can uh, this uh, evaluate the study of metal ethyl ketone using the five characteristic of technology. Okay, if it is does not fall into the characteristic of technology, then definitely it falls under the category of science. So these are two ways how you can answer the. Question, yeah. Okay, technology and society in history. Uh, this one you can forget about it. Just for your informations, I would not ask you to memorize the historical things. Okay, this one. Okay, Stone Age, uh, Bronze Age, uh, food, all this you may not. Just for your informations, lah. Okay, it will be good if you can cite one or two example in the uh, answer if it is asking about it. But uh, for example. If asking what is a technology, then you, you may give the definition of technology and then you are, you can answer, you can say that at the different era, uh, because it's from a cultural form of activity, isn't it? So at different era, then uh, uh, different, uh, different technology will be used. For example, in the Stone Age, fire is considered as a technology, but in currently, uh, in this modern world, uh, fire may not consider as a technology. 
Okay, just for your information, you no need to memorize all the all the all the slide. Okay, just when you reach the time, you 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 have one or two example to cite. That's it. Okay. Okay. When we come to the uh, uh, this one is the example. Okay, for example, that uh, as I just mentioned just now, the impact of a technology on the society. You can prepare one technology. And uh, that, that's impacting the, the society. For example, computer, you can prepare beforehand. And when you go to the, the exam hall, if the question asking you about Wi-Fi, most of the answer for computer is applicable for Wi-Fi, isn't it? If, it? if the question is asking about birth control pill, even though the answer is completely different, but you, at least you have some idea about the, how to answer it. Okay. okay. So this is the uh, example that's shown to you. Okay, this is uh, industrial revolutions. Uh, if you, it, it will be useful if, let's say, you are talking about if the question asking you evaluate the vehicles uh, or modern vehicles are uh, using the nine elements model, and then the the historical part. This part you may be uh, you can use this part to explain your historical. Okay, before the. During the in, in industrial revolutions, people are using railroad or whatever instead of modern or instead of modern vehicles, right? Then after that, you can talking about the the make, uh, making the development of car by Ford and so forth, automobile. Okay. These two slides also give you some information about the historical aspect. If they ask you to evaluate using the nine elements, then the historical side. Okay, for example, had telephone, you can say that uh, previously only 8% of the uh, houses in the US 100 years ago had only a telephone. Okay, so that's in telephone is not that common. However, in today's world, there are many people, uh, almost everyone are using handphone. Almost uh, available, everyone available a uh, 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 telecommunications uh, devices. Okay. And when it comes to technological determinism, what you need is the definitions. Okay. Theory of social change, this one you need to know. And, uh, and again, uh, before the exam, you can think of any technology that is developed due to technological determinism. So if the question asking you, uh, Give you a uh, give you a technology, let's say computer, and ask you to discuss about technology development of computer. Is it uh, due to technological determinism or social determinism? Then you need to use these uh, definitions and discuss whether it is due to technological determinism or social determinism. Okay, or in other way, the if the so, if the question asking you describe uh, or explain technological determinism with an appropriate example. So in that case, you need to uh, give the uh, definitions of technological determinism and then use an example to, uh, to discuss, for example, the processor, the IC processor, development of the processor from uh, I, 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 I1 or I2 or I3, go to now I11 or, what, or I9, okay? So you discuss it uh, using your example, okay? If let's say, you have uh, you, you are using the IC processor for this technological determinism. If the question change, asking you what are the characteristic of the uh, technological determinism? Okay, so in the PowerPoint slide here, I do not give you a, a characteristic of technological determinism, but you can base on your answer that you have prepared beforehand and come up with the characteristic. Okay, this is what I mean that you can prepare the answer before you come into the uh, exam hall. Okay, so this one technological determinism seeks to explain social and historical phenomena in terms of the one principle or determining factor. Yeah, okay. So on social uh, autonomous of technology, if we are asking you whether how does the uh, technology develop, and then one of the way is autonomous technology. Then you explain technology is developed independently, why it's independently, and why it is irreversible forward expansions, and why it is unstoppable, okay? All the lecture notes give you is 
power uh, is a point form, but you need to expand it into essay form. Okay. Or if the question asking you are uh, saying that nowadays the technology is uh, developed in a in a fast pace and uh, it looks like the it is beyond the control of technology. Okay, then uh, uh, ask you why. Then you can use uh, ask you why. That means the technology is developed by its own and is uh, out of control of the human being. Then you can say that it is due to the autonomous technology. And the characteristic of the autonomous technology is technology developed independently, irreversible, and unstoppable. Each point explained using one paragraph. Okay. Okay, management of change. Now, if the question asking you, the technology is changes very fast. So uh, the, 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 the organizations need to update their, their, their knowledge into, uh, in order to, to, to follow the pace of technology. So what are the ways that uh, people can do or what are the methods that an organization can stay competitive in this fast-changing world? So these three points, yeah, we need to accelerate the innovation process. Uh, the, that means the R&D activity need to carry out with the pace of the market so that it won't be uh, uh, come to the come to this uh, you can apply the knowledge that you learn in the entrepreneurship right where in the where the the, uh, the portal five forces is coming in you need to have fast innovation so that your your, your this uh, rivalry uh, among the existing firm is low then you are leading the other other people okay and then you because the knowledge changes so fast, you need to have a lifelong learning habits. So continually reskilling of your labor to update their, to conduct frequent training or whatever to update the, 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 the skill of the labor. Okay. And then the, the third one is make sure that information that, uh, to make sure that the information technology such as artificial intelligence or CIM or CAE, uh, computer aided engineering or whatever are used in your factory okay so these are the three changes that are uh, three three ways how uh, organizations can cope up with the fast chain uh, activity okay if let's say i change from the uh, i change from the organizations to individual okay so i uh, if let's say the question say in in uh, in this uh, fast changing environment in this fast changing environment the technological development is changing every day uh, in the, in a fast pace you as an individual how are you going to stay competitive in this uh, fast changing world so now i'm talking about individual already okay so the first you can still use back this first uh, these three points need to accelerate innovation process but you need to change it from organization to individual but basically, the main point for individual is lifelong learning. Okay, the the the, the lifelong learning, continual reskilling of your own skill. You need to update your knowledge on the in, uh, artificial intelligence, CIM, or CAE, and so forth. Okay, so you see, no matter how the question change and twist and turn, if you understand the the basic, it is still the same answer that you can apply. Okay, so this is the management of change how you are going to uh, uh, make sure that you stay competitive, yeah? So these are the three points. Definitely, it is not more than, uh, that it is not only limit to these three points. This is only an example. You can have four points and, 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 and five points are up to you, okay? Now, next is the social determinism. Same thing as uh, technological determinism. You need to know what is the definitions. And the question may ask you, give an example to, illust to illustrate social determinism by an example, okay? So again, you can prepare it beforehand. You can think of a technology that is uh, 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 developed due to social determinism to solve the society problem. Then only you, you uh, so when if the question is asking you uh, this, uh, give example of the social determinism, then you immediately got the answer already because you're prepared beforehand, okay? Or if the question asking you, uh, differentiate or discuss the differences between social determinism and society determinism with example with appropriate example. So because uh, before going into the exam hall, you already prepare the answer for this, the, te the technological determinism and social determinism. So in the exam, you can straight away put down put down these two uh, example and compare. Okay.
Next one we are talking about. Now, uh, this crone is that I mentioned just now. Croning, okay. So it is a, it can be a technological, uh, it can be a technology in the advanced country like US or whatever, but in Malaysia, it is not a, a technology yet because it is not form of a cultural activity. Yeah, and it does not transform the material world and so forth. Okay, and if a question asking you, in your opinion, which one is true? Uh, technological determinism or social determinism? Okay, then your answer would be uh, both also not true and both also true. Okay, it depends on the context in which angle we are looking at it. Okay, now technology transfer. What you know the, the you, you must know what are the benefit advantages of technology transfer. Now, when we're talking about the advantages and disadvantages of technology transfer, you need to be very, very careful. The advantages to the recipient country or to the supplying country. Okay. The, the advantages is to the uh recipient country and to the, the is to increase the technological level into increase uh, the the advancement uh the science and technology level but to the to the advanced country this is not a uh to the supplier country this is not an advantage okay because their science and technology level is already high enough to develop the technology okay so you need to read the question carefully is this referring to the recipient country or referring to the supplier country okay and social trend in the technological advancement, there are there, there are three phases. So if let's say the question asking you discuss the technological, the trend of the technological advancement, okay, then you your answer will be there are three phases of technological advancement. Phase one using a labor intensive, second one skill intensive industry, third phase using uh, more in the service based industry, more on the uh, knowledge economy. Yeah, okay. Or if the question asking you, since the or since since the day we exit until today, there are a lot the, the, the there is a a big change in the technological advancement. Categorize the technology advancement into a few categories and discuss each category. Then this one will be your category. Even though here is first phase, then you can say first category, second category, third category. Okay. So this is your uh, answer, okay? Technology is a system. This is any defi and other definitions of technology, okay? And the technology, what is technology transfer? Then you can say that you 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 can mention that uh, technology transfer can be a transfer of any of the above, any of of, of this thing, okay? And it can imb embedded in the equipment supply transfer or expertise training or software. It is not only limit to uh, what we say the the tangible technological equipment yeah technology transfer can be this one okay and mode of technology transfer this is how how are we going to transfer the technology these are the four modes that we can transfer the technology by either import the foreign high technology products or joint venture with the overseas that uh, to pro pro produce the better 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 products such as proton car manufacturing now it's working together with China, isn't it? Right? Outright purchase of high technology processes, technological transfer to individual. So these are the methods how we can conduct technology transfer. Okay. And this one is talking about the definitions or explain what is technological uh, transfer. Yeah. And this one, if let's say the, the 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 question is asking you, just like your tutorial question asking you, uh, why why it is uh why it is advisable or better for the third world country to transfer the, the technology instead of uh, develop the technology on its own. Okay, then the answer will be, if the country is going to develop the technology on its own, then basically it is need to go through the vertical transfer. Okay, they have start from research, development and production, and then this is very time consuming. Okay, and if it is going for the trans uh, technology transfer, then it just transfer from the developed country to the developed to its own country, so it save time. Yeah. So the major the major uh, uh, benefit is uh, vertical transfer is uh, very time consuming, and then the, the technology transfer is time 
uh, it saved a lot of time. So that's why the it is advisable for the third world country to transfer the technology from the first world country. Yeah. Okay, technological advantages of technology transfer can found in uh, all these three form here, a product which is better quality, combination of process, a production process which is improved productive production efficiency and so forth. Now, this slide does not tell you this is an advantage to the recipient country or to the supplying country. What do you think? This one is an advantage to whom? Class, this one is the advantage to more to the recipient country or supplying country. Any response from you? Recipient. Sorry? <coughs> recipient. Yes, this, this advantage is more to the recipient country. Yeah. Okay. And category of industrial technology, there are what are the category? Uh, this one is just for your information. Benefit of transfer of technology to recipient. Okay, uh, this one is uh, specifically mentioned about the recipient. So that is low cost and better product, shorter time. Okay, and then development of technological capability improving. Okay, and what you need to be aware that all these three advantages is not really. Uh, it will not be materialized if the certain conditions are not as it. For example, if you have transferred an inappropriate technology where your, your country cannot cope up, yeah, your country do not have a know-how how to maintain the technology, then in that case, this one is not the advantages or benefit to the recipient country. Okay, bear in mind, it's only become a benefit to the recipient country provided uh, the 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 certain condition is uh is uh, fulfilled. Okay, let me see where is our conditions. Uh. Okay. Okay. Uh, provided this all these conditions are uh, fulfilled. Okay. Factor to be con before you if let's say the question is asking you uh, before you transfer the technology, what are the factors that you need to consider in order to uh, receive the biggest benefit from the uh, technology transfer. So you need to meet up these five categories of uh, factor. First thing, appropriate appropriateness of technology. The technology transfer is must be appropriate to your country, is a need to your countries and so forth. And then the cost of technology transfer is within your budget, is it within your capability to pay off. And you must be have a technical people able to transfer the technology, uh, to handle the technology, okay? If you transfer an inappropriate technology, let's say in Malaysia transfer a nuclear power plant, but then we also don't know how to handle the nuclear power plant, then it is uh, causing a problem. The, the technology will be either there, okay? Because nobody able to handle the technology, and then it must be able to uh, com compatible with the socio-cultural system, okay? If let's say in Malaysia, you are transfer a technology that is using a, a certain part of a pig to, to produce a product, then it is not com compatible, compatible with our social cultural uh, activity, isn't it? Because we are Muslim country, so the, 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 the raw material that we need to use, it must be halal, okay? So, but if the, if the technology that you transfer is using a non-halal uh, uh, component or, or, or raw material, that it may not be compatible with the cultural, uh, social cultural system, okay? And also you must un understand is there any hidden cost or not, okay? Hidden cost is the cost that you are not putting on upfront. You you are you are uh, you are embedded in the uh, in in the in the system, okay? For example, if let's say you 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 import a a non halal technology in view here, okay, then the hidden cost is you are losing the market of the Muslim uh, community, okay? The Muslim community may not purchase your product. So this could be a hidden cost, yeah? All right? So when you transfer the technology, when talk about the technology transfer, the advantages, disadvantages is very important. You need to see the context, yeah? So this is the one of the context.
OK? So this is the benefit of, uh, to the, uh, to the uh, recipient if the five factors that the sum we mentioned are fulfilled, OK? If the five factors are not fulfilled, it could be disadvantageous. Yeah, because the cost, you, 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 the cost instead of low, low cost, it become high cost because you need to depend on the supplying country. Okay, instead of developing the technological capability, you need to depending on the supplying country for the technological capability because your own people cannot do the repairing or maintenance job. All right. So this is a progression of technology uh, capabilities. How does it progress? Uh, knowledge and skill are required for processing of production and then knowledge and skill required for investment, adaptive engineering or organizational adaptations, and then the knowledge required for product and process innovations. Yeah. So this is the progression. How does the technology transfer progress? And a successful uh, technology transfer is using a business model. So the, uh, this one is almost same as the five condition that I, uh, five factors that I mentioned just now. Technology must be compatible with the strategy and objective of the firm. Technology is complemented by the firm specific factor. Technology transfer is supported by related supporting section and factors. Technology transfer is market oriented. Okay. If the technology transfer is not market oriented, then your, 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 your cost will be very high and then you do not get the business. Okay. So if let's say uh, the, the advantages of the uh, recipient country if you don't want to use just now the five factors to discuss, you can use these four factors to discuss. Okay? It's the same. Yeah. Okay, main elements before uh, required for the technology uh, transfer. What are the things that uh, take place before the technology transfer is, uh, uh, is, is, is happening? That is you generating, uh, you have a six factor here. First thing first, the country must have the, or the firm must have the motivation, okay, to, to, to improve their process or whatever. And then the second, they must recognize their current situations and opportunities by, uh, and, and the opportunities, okay. Identify appropriate technologies by the enterprise, developing the absorptive capacity, managing the transfer process and financing. These are the five things that must take place before a technology transfer is happen. Okay, so if the question asking you, what are the factors need to be considered before a company decide or, or a country decide to transfer a technology, then this will be your answer. That is five point. Okay, expand it into the uh, paragraph, one paragraph, one point. Okay, or uh, if the if the question asking you, uh, what are the uh, let's say, uh, let me think of a question to ask you. What are the factors need to be uh, considered prior to the uh, prior to the uh, technology transfer? Then the five factors that we just have we mentioned can be the can be the, uh, the your answer, or if not, these six factors also can be your answer. Is the same, all right? Or if the question asking you. Uh, if your if, if your employee is thinking of if, if your employer is thinking of transfer the technology of productions from uh, Germany, okay, and he asking about your opinion whether we should do so or not, then your answer will be uh, in, before we, uh, we we transfer the technology, we need to evaluate the five factors or these six factors, see whether is it appropriate or not to transfer the technology. Okay, so this main element required for technology is also the uh, factors that you need to consider, okay? And then during the technology transfer, there are five stages, yeah? Traditional society without any technology transfer, and once your, 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 your social is stable, is uh, uh, the people are, uh, uh, the, the society is stable, people are happy, um, employment rate are high and so forth, then it's the precondition for you to take off. Take off means you transfer the technology, okay? After you transfer the technology, then you need to learn the technology from the developed country to uh, to drive the technological to the maturity stage and then age of high mass production. This is self-sustained growth, okay? Uh, in, in, in the explanation is here, okay? So, so this is the process, the, the five stages of technology transfer. So you need to be, 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 uh, be careful and you need to differentiate what are the factors need to be considered before 
uh, technology transfer. There are the five factors we're talking about. Okay, the hidden cost, appropriateness technology, or whatever, or the six factors that we just talked about just now. But if you during the techno, uh, if we're asking you about the society trend for the technology transfer, then this one will be the society trend. Okay, what happened to the society before and after uh, uh, technology take off or the economy grow? Okay, this will be your answer. Uh, this is uh, this advantage. Uh, wait, uh, this one advantages of technology transfer to a recipient country. Yeah, as mentioned just now. Okay, if the question asking you what are the advantages of technology transfer to a supplying country, then don't answer this. Uh, then you will be completely wrong. You'll get zero marks on that. Okay, so these advantages of technology transfer to recipient country, higher import of import of inappropriate technology. You import the wrong technology. Remember the factors that the five factors that we're talking about is we must import a uh, appropriate technology, right? High cost of uh, uh, technology transfer, inability to uh, handle high technology. All these are the disadvantages of technology transfer to the recipient country. Okay. This is a key issue in the technology transfer to the third world country. What are the what are the things that we need to uh, look into? Okay, so these are the five factors that I mentioned just now. You need to con you need to uh, uh, consider before you decide whether to uh, transfer the technology or not. And besides these five factors, there are some additional factors that uh, you need to you 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 also need to uh, identify. Okay. Effect of new technology. Okay, this one is basically the uh, how does the technology affect the society? Okay, uh, so this free man's model, uh, just for your information, nine element models. You must know how to evaluate the nine elements, and this one again, you can prepare a sample. A technology and evaluate the evaluate you using the five sample uh, using the nine elements model, and bear in mind I repeat you many many times already. If let's say philosophy is not related to the technology that you are evaluating, you still need to write down technology a uh, philosophy. It is not relevant, okay, to this technology. You cannot skip philosophy. Yeah, uh. if you skip philosophy when I mark, I will treat you instead of knowing the nine elements. You only know the eight elements only, right? Okay, and you can use this as a guideline to discuss about the effect of the impact of technology on the society. Okay, so with this, we have uh, uh, done with the uh, technology and society. Any question? Okay, answer well. Huh? And for your information, you need not worry about how many points you need to discuss or whatever. In the exam question, I clearly stated that discuss five points or discuss five reasons or discuss five uh, advantages or five disadvantages, okay? But my concern with you, my worry with you is your speed is too slow, okay? Usually, the time to answer two tutorial questions is half an hour. Okay, because the question will, uh, will, will categorize it into question one, two, and three. Uh, part one, part two, part three, part four. Okay, for your information, uh, for this time exam, out of the four questions, only one question that is only one part. Okay, but that is a danger also. Only one part, that means when you answer, if it, your answer is out, that means 25 marks gone. Okay, if your answer is correct, then you get high marks. Okay, the rest, the other three questions, they are all have a part A, part B, part A, part B. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the resources and environment. Okay. On the environmental side, what you need to know again is the what is the definitions of uh, uh, ecosystem, environment, and so forth. Okay, 
So all this figure, you no need to memorize all, okay? If we want to memorize, you want to say that there is a huge increase of the uh, human population, you may just memorize 19, 000, uh, 1900, uh, 1900 and 1.6 billion, 2050, 10.1 million, okay? You, you just memorize the highest and the lowest will do. Okay, in between one, you no need to forget about it. Because what you need is you are going to di in, in, uh, discuss about the size of the, 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 the trend of the increment or decrement, okay? So the polluting uh, our resources, uh, uh, the depleting resources, what are the, the sources that depleting fossil fuel, uh, natural gas, uh, fossil fuel includes of the natural gas, uh, what is this, uh, coal and... Uh, uh, petroleum okay and also don't forget about aquatic life aquatic resources from the sea okay all these all these are depleting resources and pollution is mainly due to the mankind uh, activities and then there is a changes in the global conditions global warming and ozone depleting section and when as far as global condition is concerned we need the cooperation of all countries in this world to work together towards the combating of the global conditions. Yeah, you cannot just a single country or one or two countries to work together. It is impossible to overcome it. All right, and war. Okay, this one is only for your for your this uh uh informations. Aim. Ecosystem, you must know what is an ecosystem, and the homeostasis, you must know what are the what, uh, why they are deemed isolated. Okay, matter within uh, ecosystem is recycled with only negligible amount passing through the system boundary. This is what because the homeostasis of the ecosystem, yeah. Okay, and the key system is a photosynthesis. In other words, Sun is the sole solar uh, sole uh, energy provider. Without sun, without uh, without photosynthesis, then the, the the ecosystem may not be sustained. Okay, so ecosystem you need to know the definitions and homeostasis. How does the ecosystem remain stable? Okay, and you can quote some example of this one if you, you if you are explaining the stability of ecosystem. Or you want to quote this example? Don't memorize word by word. Just use an example. If let's say you have difficulty in explaining, okay. Okay, limits of uh, the, the 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 limiting factor of a population size. Okay, there are physical limits. What are the limits that uh, limit the populations from growing? Okay, shortage of nutrients, growth of space species in the savanna region, lack of water limits, number the three, and so forth. And then this, these are the factors that you need to discuss if the if question asking you about what are the factors that limit the population size, yeah? Okay, and then climate factors, climatic change, disaster, okay, uh, environmental change, predations. Predation in this one is if let's say the, the, the answer is asking you why the population of rabbit is not growing as high as possible, then the predation will coming in. Okay, because the survival of the fittest, only the fit one can survive, right? If let's say the weak one, it will be uh, eaten up by lions or whatever. But as far as human population is concerned, this predation is not really happening because we, as a human being, we have our value to help the sick one, help the weak one, okay? Except during the war time, lah, right? So uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the stable political stability time, political, if the political politically is stable, these predations may not happen to the uh, uh, human populations, okay? Instead, because of our human being, we have the value to help the unhealthy or the weak individual, and this causes the population to increase, okay? This one, this two is more for the uh, animals' uh, populations, yeah? Human populations may not be there. Okay, what is the problem with the human population growth? If the question asking you discuss if discuss the effect of the uh, if if the population growth is continue and unstoppable, what will be the problem? Then this one will be your problem. Okay, 
man has learned to master the faith and uh uh okay let me see uh able to change his immediate micro okay sorry uh this is not the answer why uh, this is the answer to the question why why we have uh, such we have a we, we have the uh, climatic factor, physical factor, and, and environmental factor that limit the growth of human being, but why the, 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 the population is still growing, okay? So this will be your answer. The first is man learn to master the faith and is less subject to disaster uh, dictators by nature. Now we are, we are mastering the Mother Earth, right, with our science and technology. If let's say there is a disaster or whatever, we already know beforehand we have a CMAX system to detect when it's a volcano or when is the flood will be happen, right? So we, 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 we evacuate the people first before the disaster happen. So, and then because we master the fate, if the temperature is not right, we have a greenhouse for the plant, we have a hydrophonic for the plant, we can change our irrigation system and so forth, okay? Able to change his immediate uh, micro uh, environment through machine technology, Man has outgrown a lot of natural limitation. Technology is keeping uh, human survival viable, okay? And also, the, we, we, the, the, the only thing that we cannot change is the macro environment that is such as global warming, vanishing of bio, bio, biodiversity, and so forth, okay? If the question asking you why the human population is still growing, you may quote these three, the first three, uh, uh factor okay if let's say the question is changed asking you as compared to the population of uh rabbit okay uh, or, or, or animals why the population of animal is not growing as fast as the population of human grow then this one you can put it in okay and then add another one the no predations for uh just how we mentioned about predation isn't it right for the human uh for the human population there is no predations and there is no survival of the fetus but in the animal kingdom there is a predation and survival of the fetus and these two causing the populations of animal kingdoms uh, animal population not growing as fast as human populations okay and if let's say uh if uh, if a question asks what what happened to, to our mother earth, if let's say the population is keep on increasing, then this will be your answer. Get strain on land, strain on agriculture, strain on other resources, increase pollutions. Okay, so these four are all the all, all, all the all the question asking you. Uh, why scientists worry about the overpopulations? Then your answer will be because overpopulation we will strain on the land. It's strain on the agriculture or whatever and causing shortage of boost food supply, pollution increases, causing the health, health, health problem and so forth. Okay. Uh, another one I forgot, and it's not in the lecture note, is just now if let's say we're talking about why human population is keep on growing up, then one of another reason is the advancement of the medical technology. Okay. The, the, uh, the technological, uh, technological advancement has prolonged the life or the survival of human being. 100 years back, the average lifespan of uh, US, of the US people is only 47, and now it's going over to 70 plus 80. All right, so this is another factor. And uh, population growth not related to resources. Not to, not to, there, and there is no natural predation, uh, no check or by natural disaster. Long-term population slowdown, human population not ecologically balanced. This is the part, okay, one, population are not related to resources because uh, major growth are in the poorer country. This one also can be the answer. Uh, one, two, three can be the answer for the reason why human populations increases, okay? And... Uh, Number five is not really a uh, uh, reasons for population to grow because it's causing the ecologically unbalanced. Yeah, so one, two, three, it can be the answer for your questions why population still increasing. Okay, and this one is the uh, reasons. If let's say, if let's say the question asking you. Look, based, based on the statistic, 
discuss why the third world country is having higher po higher population growth as compared to the first world country. Then this five, this six point, this seven point will be your answer. Okay, propagation of species because you want to make sure that uh, there is high high death rate of the children. You need to be, uh, ensure that your 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 species is uh, uh, is, is is can be uh, transferred to the next generation and so forth. Okay, first and second almost the same point. OH insurance, yeah. So if we compare third world and the first world, this will be your answer, yeah. And if uh, and if you are and the question asking you why the population in the first world country is slow down, then this four will be your answer. Okay, no need for a large families because the fatality rate is low. Awareness of a population bomb because once we know what what problem are we going to face, we are going to reduce the uh, give birth to a, a to many baby. Okay, and social development equal rights. The female less content and stay at home, and then the general as uh, and social development. Okay, if the question asking you, uh, if discuss why the population grow, uh, uh, discuss uh, in the. Uh, the currently the population already reached 10 billion, right? And it is still growing. But however, the growing rate of the population is slowed down in the advanced, in advanced or developed country. Discuss why. Then this 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 four will be your answer. Yeah. Okay. If I change the question and I asking you why the, the why uh the population growth rate in the poorer country is higher than the uh and once country, then you may say that your answer will be the six point, uh, will be the seven point that we discussed about this one. Okay. So if the question change, I change the question, say, uh, with the with, 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 with the publication of lead me to growth and population bomb, what do you think about the future human populations? Okay, then you can discuss whether the human population was still growing or human population will, will the, the growth rate will slow down. If you are discussing the population growth rate is slowed down, and then why? Then you can use these four points to justify your answer. Okay, All right. If I show you this graph, if I show you this graph, this is a yearly growth rate. And based on the graph, discuss why the growth rate is declining from year to year, from 1970 to year 2000. Okay, so what will be your answer? Again, your answer will be still the same. Okay, still the same as this four. Are you following? Okay, so if you understand what is the lecture saying, so no matter how the how the question twists and turn, you will be able to get your answer from the lecture notes. Okay, but the only thing that is you need to expand the PowerPoints pop for, uh, in the PowerPoint slide in the point form into essay. Okay. Okay, this is the limit. Uh, this is a trans uh, demographic transitions. Okay, sustainable development. You need to know the definitions. Okay, this is population growth. And if I ask you the why the, the this part is plateau, then again your four factors were coming in. Yeah, you know, that we, 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 we mentioned just now. Other consideration besides number. Okay, besides number, we also need to con consider population distributions where uh, and then the poverty gap, technological gap, aging gap, uh, aging population, population de uh, population decline. Okay. So these are another uh, things that we need to consider, okay? Uh, this one is only for your information. You no need to memorize the chart. This one also for your information. Okay, problem related to the use of natural resources. So these are the four or five uh, uh, problems that face with the uh, natural resources, both renewable and non-renewable resources, 
non uh, with non renewable resources problem of depletion happen use both type of having different light like, level of environmental effect or whatever so this problem these five problems is also similar with the if the question asking you what are the problem faced by uh, using of the natural using energy okay this five are the same same answer you use a uh, natural resources or energy okay and Malthus theory you need to know what is the Malthus theory is talking about populations grow because passion between sexes and then the the, the proportion the, the 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 assumption is the power of uh, the, the the population grow is no limit but the food supply is physical okay and the argument of that is uh, uh one day that the food limit will be uh, not enough to supply for the uh, population grow okay and there is a two check one is positive check and one is preventive check okay now if the question i think we discussed in the uh, tutorial also mm -hmm. if, if we're asking you if let's say asking you about the Malthus theory part a you may answer this one okay and then part b is okay, why why Malthus theory does not uh, realize after 200 years then your answer in your tutorial may come in or you are going to use the limiting factors that we are talking about just now can be your answer mm, where is it uh, i think quite far away uh not this one the predation one we are talking about predations okay and uh, this one can be uh not this one this one can be one of your answer okay uh this one this one also can be your answer. Why limits to grow or, or the 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 pop uh, the Malthus theory saying that uh, population will have insufficient food and why the population is still growing and then this one can be your answer, okay? And also another one. This one also can be your answer, okay? But the, you say that we don't have predation and we don't have the survival of fitness. Instead, we go and help the weakness, the the weakest, okay? So these are about the uh, environment. Okay. If the, we are talking about why the the, the limits of uh, population is keep on growing, right? So what happened if I ask you, what are the uh, limits that, what are the factors that limits the growth of populations? Then what are you going to answer? Then your answer will be the physical, uh, the physical factor that we mentioned about. Don't say that fitness of the strongest. We say it is uh, due to the uh, uh, competitions for the resources. Okay, where is the? Uh, let me check. Where is it? The limiting factors. Yeah. Ah, this one. Okay. This one will be your answer. Okay, physical factor, uh, climatic factor environmental factor okay and predation and survival of the fittest this one we uh um, we, 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 we change it to competitions yeah competition of insufficient resources then uh, there is competitions among the nation among the country this may may may, may limit the growth of human populations yeah like the china once child policy all right although it is uh, abundant or chain already but previously they are worried about too high populations so they have a one child policy okay Okay, that's all for natural resources. Okay, then we go to pollutions. Okay, this is a limit to grow. Yeah. So you need to understand the or each and every graph. What does it mean? I think in tutorial we also discuss about it, right? So you need to discuss three or five 
three to five points about it. And then uh, how are we going, reasons for the continual availability of resources? Well, uh, scientists, uh, if the question asking you, the scientist has predicted uh, the fossil fuel is going to deplete within 40 years time. But why we are still uh, available, uh, why, 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 why it does not materialize and it, uh, the, the availability of fossil fuel is still continue, then these four factors will be your answer. Okay? Better prospecting, extraction technology, more efficient usage, develop of uh, alternative products, recycling of material. If I change the questions to say, uh, discuss how are we going to make uh, to continue to make the availability of the finite resources to last longer? Okay, so again, this this slide, these four factors can be your answer. Yeah, or if I change the the question to, uh, in today's fossil fuel is the main energy supply. However, the 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 scientists have for, uh, has has, uh, has predicted that the fossil fuel can last the most is fifty years from today. Okay. So in order for our next generations to enjoy the, the use of fossil fuel, uh, discuss, the, discuss the, 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 the method, what we can do in order to prolong the usage of, or to prolong the availability of fossil fuel. Again, the answer will be the same. These four factors coming in. Okay? So actually, it's very simple, isn't it? Actually, very, very easy to answer, right? Okay, pollutant. What are the pollutants? Okay, you need to answer what, what are the pollutants. What, what are the pollutants? If, if the question asking you, what is pollutant? Then you need to answer all this. Okay, it can be liquid, uh, gas, and vapor form. Okay, and key effect of the pollutions. How does it affect the air, the water, and the, uh, the land? Okay, and what this, this if a question asking you, uh, the pollution in the pollution in this world is become higher and higher. Discuss what are the cause of pollutions. Then these three causes, these three main causes. Okay, human lifestyle, agriculture, and industrial will be your, uh, your your answer. If I ask you, discuss uh, the pollution issue is become more and more serious in today's world. Discuss what you can do or what the people can do in order to minimize the pollutions. The answer can be also these three answer, okay? But instead of talking a uh, human lifestyle, we say we change the human lifestyle, okay? We change the human lifestyle so that we we, we recreations one or whatever we use less energy, okay? Agriculture, we change the agriculture that currently is doing. We don't use excessive fertilizer. Just the opposite of what we say in this uh this slide, okay? It will be the problem. Uh, it will be the solutions to our problem, yeah. Of pollutions. Okay, industrial resources. Uh, this one you can make use of it to discuss it. Consumption effect on the downstream. This is this talking about the, the end user side? What are the what are the, the pollution effect? Principal uh, airborne pollutant uh, pollutant and effect. This one you need, you need to know what are the uh, what are the the pollutant that in the air. Like ozone, low level ozone. High bear in mind, high level ozone is good. Huh? It absorbs the UV light. It's only the low level ozone. Low level ozone is not talking about a little bit of ozone. It's near to our Earth's surface. Yeah, the high level is near to our Earth's surface. Ozone is very bad. Nitrogen, uh, nitrous oxide, okay, and particulate. This this type of pollutant you need to know. Lead, carbon monoxide. And when you talk about uh, uh, what what are the, the the source of pollutions, if we, if we, if the question asking you discuss two two source of pollutions, when you mention two, you don't discuss about the air whatever already. Then you just go to point source pollutions and non point source solutions. Okay, and asking you which if, or if the if the uh, question asking you discuss the source of pollutions. And in your opinion, which source of pollution is easier to tackle, to, to, to solve? The, the second part of the question asking you which source is easier to tackle, then you know that you are talking about the two, two strategy already, right? So we are talking about point source pollution and non-point solutions. Okay, don't, don't mention about the air pollution, uh, water pollution uh, or whatever. Okay, so solutions to pollution is replace environmental hazard redesign process and so forth, okay? And the strategy to combat pollutions, 
uh, in the tutorial question, I asked what are the strategy to combat pollutions, but man, only, only a few of you talking about pollution control and pollution prevention. Okay, basically these are two important strategy in combating pollutions. You need to know what does it mean by pollution control? What does it mean by pollution prevention? Yeah. So if the question asking you, uh, what are the two sources of uh, pollutions and which and uh, suggest two strategy to combat pollutions? Then the two sources will be one uh, point source and non-point source. And then uh, the strategy to, con to combat the pollution is pollution control and pollution prevention. Okay. Then how about the, the, the chain of lifestyle, chain of agriculture and industry that I mentioned? So that one, is it tally with this pollution control, right? Uh, or pollution prevention? For the industry one, mainly is uh, tally with the pollution control, but for the uh, chain of lifestyle, it is a pollution prevention, yeah? You must know the pollution, this one. For recent reduction approaches, what are we do? All these are the changes of the raw material. This one, if, if let's say you, you discuss about changes on the industry, okay, then you can use this point to support your change in the industry. Remember just how I say that, how to how to mi minimize the pollutions. Uh, we say change the lifestyle, change the agriculture, change the uh, industrial approach, right? So change of the use of the raw material of productions, change of production technology, improve production processes, uh, recycle waste within the plant, redesign, reformulate end products. This one, you can use this, four, this five point to justify the changes in the industry, okay? An area to consider in the process waste reductions, use mechanical rather than uh, organic solvent, use water-based solvent, chain plant practices. This one, again, uh, you can relate it to support your argument in the industry here. Yeah? Chain of raw material, this one you know already. Chain of production technology, this one is further explanation, yeah? Okay, improve production processes. This one is an, only an example, yeah? If you, you, if you find out you are out of the world, you don't know how to explain, then you can use this, uh, what we say, this example here to, to support your argument, yeah? Disposal of hazard waste Malaysia, that you need to know there is a scheduled way and non-scheduled ways, right? Then, then we need to, uh, the scheduled ways, we cannot simply dispose it off. We need to uh, contract the quality alarm to collect the uh, non-scheduled ways, yeah? Okay, this one is for your information. This one, no, don't, don't go and memorize the chart. Huh? It's only for your information. Okay, type of schedule ways. What are the, what are the six, uh, five category of schedule, schedule ways? Uh, 77, under this five group, there are 77 types of uh, category of schedule ways. Okay, and again, this one is for your information. Okay. And if uh, currently what are we doing is we have a more land disposing and then uh, less re re reduce, okay? So in future, if the question asking you, how are we going to uh, 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 reduce the domestic and industrial waste, okay? So you may want to use this figure to explain, okay? We want to change the mentality of our land filling, land disposal to the mentality of reuse, re uh, re reduce, reuse, recycle. Okay, you can you can sketch out the graph. Okay. So use of land. What what is the problem that we are causing the? What are the land? What is the land used for? And how does we cause the pollutions to the land? And then this will be your answer. Yeah. Okay. Again, you can see that human agriculture industry. These three are the major uh, producer of pollutants. Yeah. These are the need that uh, uh, the land can supply to us. And then what are the threat? What are the, this is the land pollution, yeah? this desertification. We have talked a lot about the desertification and so forth. So the structural the, uh, destructions, how the, uh, what are the things that are causing the structural destruction? You can use this uh, mining to support your answer. Okay, and then there are two types of the mining, sub, sub, subterranean and also the surface type. 
surface mining is a uh, open pit and the sub tunneling just like uh, the coal mining and so forth okay environmental impact disruption of land due to removal okay if the question asking you what is the impact of the land pollutions and then this one all this will be your answer okay erosion of land effect of the water quality and all this this will be the impact of the uh, on the environment yeah and how are we going to uh, uh, solve the the solution from the mining my land are using uh, either we need this uh, crop cover we immediately plant some crops to cover the the lands quickly right this is ability this, this is the solutions yeah if the the land is too acidic we cure it with the lime we put the lime powder calcium carbonate on, on the land to, uh, which is alkaline yeah to neutralize the acidic things excessive stoniness barrier to crop uh, this one we may we may want to uh, uh, remove the stoniness okay crops cover help by seeding fertilizing applications yeah desertification i did this one uh desertification is for your in, for your informations okay i i i'm, I'm not asking any question on desertifications Uh, but when you discuss about the pollutions, you may want to say that uh, even though I say I didn't ask ask for the uh, uh, is for your information, but if you if, if you are good, you may say that one third of the present global desert is a man-made due to the land pollutions. Okay, then th this this one will give you an advantage. Whenever you answer the question in the uh, when you answer, if you you will you you your answer will be better if you can make use of the technical terms or terminology in from the uh, lecture notes okay for example during the tutorial when i asked you to discuss about nuclear power plant then you are saying that nuclear emit out uh, uh, generate a lot of energy i say instead of using the uh, generate a lot of energy use the technical the technical terminology high energy to uh product or to weight ratio high energy to weight ratio okay so this show that you you understand the lectures yeah their marks will be higher Okay, desertifications. Okay. So here, this one for your information. Use of water, okay? Use of water, what are the usage of water and then what is the problem with the water you need to know. Okay, even we have 97% of our earth is covered by the, the water, but only 3% of the water is fresh water for drinking only, right? And then the, the human physiological needs use up only 10% uh, of water and then uh, agriculture use up 70%, industrial use 20%, yeah? Okay, uh, this one, this is a problem that you need to know. And water war, when, when, when you're talking about the importance of the uh, uh, water, you can cite this example to uh, to justify. You say that in the, the, the president of Sadat is uh, is saying that he signed a peace uh, treaty with Israel. Uh, and he said that you, uh, uh, Egypt will never go to the war except to protect its water resources. So this has shown that the, the importance of water, okay? And this, uh, this is showing the water... Uh, as I mentioned just now, 97 is covered by 97% of Earth is covered by sea or uh, ocean. Only 3% is uh, drinking fresh water. Yeah. And uh, the, the, the out of the 3%, 85% is coming from the glacier. And this causing the global warming, the global warming effect actually is causing the melting of glacier and then the glacier flow into the sea and then you're converting the fresh water into salty water okay so this is another impact of global warming yeah water management this one is for your informations atmospheric uh, what are the pollutants and what are the acid rain what are the global warming you must be able to uh, describe what it is and then if possible give some example okay and green global warming you need to know and uh, the question may ask you 
is uh, what happens if we uh, have a zero emission of uh, uh, greenhouse gases? Then you, your answer is good or you good or no good. Yeah, class. If we have zero emission of greenhouse gases, don't say it is good, huh? Okay, because uh, our our uh, naturally we need greenhouse gases to keep our earth warm. Okay, if we have completely zero uh, emission of greenhouse gases, our world will be too cold. Okay, we need greenhouse gases. Bear in mind, we need greenhouse gases, but we do not need excessive greenhouse gases. Okay, without greenhouse gases, our world will be very cold. We will go back to the ice age. Impact of the climate change, impact of the uh, change of the climate, you need to know. If I'm asking you, what are the impact of the uh, global warming to the to the um, to, to to the planet Earth? Then this four will be uh, this four will be your answer. Okay. If I don't use the global warming, I use climatic change. Then your answer is still the same. Okay. Or discuss uh, discuss three destructions by the due to the climate change, then you may pick four out here, go four, you pick three to answer, okay? A twin problem regarding the twin house effects, this one you, uh, we discussed earlier. Okay, sustainable development. Sustainable development, actually, I have tested you on the, uh, on the uh, what we say, uh, your assignment already, okay? So uh, this one, uh, just for your information. Next, we go to, I think, and uh, wait now. Uh. Okay, next we go to energy, yeah. Okay, so the energy, a lot of statistics, you, if you want to, uh, you memorize the trend, okay? If you cannot memorize the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the figure, you can just roughly sketch a graph to show the trend, okay? Okay, the energy consumption mainly is uh, three, three, three areas, industry, agriculture, and domestic, okay? Uh, industry need, well, why industry need the energy consumptions? Then these are the uh, uh, these are the four factors, okay. Agriculture. What are the use? If the question asking you, discuss the the, the major usage of agriculture uh, of of uh, energy, okay. Three uh, discuss three main sector that uh, using uh, an energy, okay. Then your three main sector will be your what what you mentioned just uh, what we mentioned just now: industry, agriculture, and domestic. Right, and then you uh, and then you explain one by one using this slide. Okay, what how does it how does the industry need for energy, and then how is the agriculture need the energy, and how is the individual uh, household in need the energy? Okay, and this one uh for your information you no need to memorize. Okay, this one also for your informations. Uh, and this one, if you want to discuss about the global warming or whatever, you can you can remember the 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 the, the first one and also the uh, where is India? India is not here. Okay, you can you you, you can uh, memorize the uh, U.S. and India. Okay, you can say that even though the U.S. is having a low birth rate uh, as compared to India, which is a three uh, three point three point seven. Uh, uh, million per, per year. The, the birth rate is very is is India is having higher birth rate than uh, US, but the the energy consumption per, per per capita is much lower as compared to US. So this show that the the lifestyle of the people in US, the lifestyle in the developed country, is where is highly uh, is is consume high high energy. Yeah. 
This one for your informations. For your information, for your informations. Okay, the sun. Okay, what is the sun? That's how we say that mainly the energy is come from the photosynthesis, isn't it? Right? So the question may ask you, discuss the role of sun as a sole source of energy supply. Then you need to discuss how, how we get the energy from the sun, the direct use, direct usage. We have a solar power or whatever. The indirect usage, we uh, they, they create the the temperature different in the atmosphere and causing the pressure difference and causing the wind or, 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 or water so that we can harvest the the the, the, the hydro hydropower or we have the wind power from the sun uh, from the from the atmosphere and also the sun sun uh, uh, the, and also the bio biomass uh, fossil fossil fuel like coal petroleum or whatever decay barbaric underground that is the store energy because before the the the, the fossil fuel being, being before the coal being buried being be, before the coal being formed it is a plant or animals right then the, where is the plant and animals getting the energy from is from the sun okay so every energy we go back to the sun that's why i say sun is a sole source of energy supply yeah okay except nuclear lah, yeah Okay, there are two main problems. If you're asking you the what are the two main problems uh, of the energy use, then this one is uh, dealing with the resources because consumption of non-renewable resources is faster than uh, replenishment of the uh, resources and then environmental e effect. That is uh, pollution. Uh. One is depleting resources and then one is uh, pollution. Okay, and then uh, these are the uh, these, these are the two problems, two main problems here. Yeah? Is by the energy sector. This one is for your information. For your informations, uh, don't memorize the statistic of this one. Uh, for your information only. Okay. Increase uh, in per capita. Oh, your 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 this uh your your exam is open book exam, right? Okay. So that's mean you can still refer to your notes. Yeah. So you don't need to memorize a figure. You, it, it, as far as you know which page of your notes is there, then you, you can refer to that and then uh, answer your question. Yeah. Okay. For example, you know that uh, you you want to get the the notes here from this page. Then you just go to this page. Uh, then you get the informations. Okay. For your informations. Okay. Upstream effect. Okay. When talking about the 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 non renewable energy, what is upstream effect? Is mainly talking about the mining. Okay. So these are the extraction effect. Oil wells, hydro, hydro, hydrocity dam, pick, uh, build a hydrocity dam, and so forth. The processing effect, and then we have a full gas as a byproduct. And how do we transport the, the 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 energy or the raw material? This one is the upstream effect. Okay, the downstream is coming to the user side. Okay, the user side will produce a disposable waste disposable. How are we going to produce uh, uh, dispose of the waste, especially nuclear waste? And then uh, when we dispose, what are the why buy products? Okay, and then how we stop the consumption side? And the the, the effect on the pollutant effect on the uh, environment that is acid rain, global warming, ozone depletion, and radioactive. Pollutions, yeah. If the question asking you discuss the main pollution caused by the use of uh, fossil fuel or or, or you use used by fossil fuel, okay. So you know that fossil fuel is emitting sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, and ozone, isn't it? So these three are the main uh, pollution caused by the use of fossil fuel. Don't go and mention radioactive pollution, ah. Uh. Man, uh, radioactive, pol uh, radioactive pollution is due to the nuclear waste. Okay, unless the question is asking you, what are the uh, uh, what are the pollution caused by the usage of energy? It does not limit to fossil fuel. That means it include uh, biomass, include nuclear power plant, uh, nuclear power, nuclear energy. Then you can include number four, radioactive pollutions. Okay, if the question asking you the pollution caused by fossil fuel. It's only acid rain, global warming, or zone depletions. Okay, if we're asking you the pollution caused by the use of energy, then one, two, three, four, all in. Okay, and what is acid rain? And what you you need to know what is the definition of acid rain? The pH is uh, uh five point one five and below. That right, is considered as acid rain. Yeah, and what is the harmful effect of acid rain? Yeah, it causing it causing effect on the aquatic system. Causing on the plant life and social economy activities. Yeah. This is the lake that shown uh, without without any organism, yeah, in Canada. 
this one is for your information, for your information, for your information. Global warming, you know, need, you need to describe what does it mean by global warming, okay? And how many degrees that uh, yeah, uh, scientists are predicting the atmosphere temperature to go up. That is 2 degrees. They try to press it down to 1.5 degree, yeah? C. And what is a greenhouse effect? Okay. The impact of the climatic change, we have talked about it before already. Twin problem, we talked about it, okay? Problem with the non-renewable energy, that a finite usage of period, new reserve required to extend. Reserve can be extended by new technology. This one we also talk about it just now, isn't it? Okay, so if let's say uh, the question asking you, how do we prolong the usage? Uh, if the scientists uh, predicted that the fossil fuel will finish within 50 years and then discuss how does, what we can do in order to prolong the availability of fuel cell, uh, uh, fossil fuel, and beside what we have discussed just now, change the lifestyle and then uh, uh, the, the, the industry and also agriculture side, then you can add in this one, okay? Increase exploration of new supplies, new method of extractions, new method of processing, more efficient. Uh, you, can, you can sketch out this graph and explain, okay? Uh, this is not graph, this is uh, what you say is the uh, diagram, okay? You can sketch out this diagram and then you, you, you explain it, okay? And non-renewable resources, what the con conventional one are the fossil fuel plus nuclear, yeah? Unconventional is oil shale and uh, natural gas hydrate, okay? Decreased consumption of fuel resources. How are we going to decrease the consumption of fuel resources? You see that it is the, the answer that you can use uh, just now. Also, you, uh, you can also use this one, okay? It's, a, it's overlapping, okay? If I ask you how to prolong the usage of uh, fossil fuel, instead of using what we have discussed just now, this one, you can use this one as your answer also. Decrease the need for energy, but you need, you need to explain uh, how, to, how to decrease the need of energy. For example, you are using the alternative uh, uh, renewable energy or you are, you are using the electrical appliance that is more efficient. Okay, uh, that one is covered under point two, high efficiency in use of energy, right? Concept for energy conservations that you need to uh, make create the awareness among the general public so that they are aware about the importance of cons uh, energy conservations and then use of alternative energy. You see, the answer that you can use is not only that slide, okay? This slide you also can use, okay? How are we going to prolong the fuse? Or if we say, uh, how are we going to... Uh, uh, reserve conserve the energy conservations. You can use this slide also. Okay. Uh, if we're talking about conservation of energy, then this one is not suitable. Okay. But this slide is suitable. Okay. Decrease of energy need. Uh, this one, the first point, decrease of energy need. There are some explanation here. All right. Then high energy efficiency. The sub, uh, the the explanation is here. Use a high efficient machine, okay. Uh, use alternative resources, the explanation also here. Renewable energy resources. Uh, renewable energy resources, you need to know about solar, uh, wind, hydro, biomass, ocean, and geothermal energy, okay. And what is the problem and what is the weakness and strength of each energy, okay. For the and, and this graph you can remember you you can uh, you no need to remember everything but you at least you know what is a trend okay the trend is the consumption of oil is going up uh, uh, sharply and then the renewable energy is much more lower okay and the lowest is nuclear energy all right this one just for your information for your information uh, energy conservations okay. There are two parts. There is energy recovery system and energy saving system. Okay, so uh, if the question asking you what are the barrier or why people, why government fail in uh, create awareness in the uh, energy conservation uh, conservations uh, effort. Okay, so what will be your answer? Your answer will be the barrier to energy conservation efficiency, uh, information barrier, economy barrier, hidden cost, market. This one is the failure. Okay the reasons why the energy conservation activity is failed, okay? If I change the question, say, if you are 
requested to promote uh, to create the uh, to create the awareness of general public on conservation of energy discuss what are the obstacles that you may face then obstacle that you may face this one two three four five will be your obstacle okay or if the question chain that uh, your your green society of your college is uh, is conducting a uh, uh, conservations are uh, energy conservations campaign. However, the turnout or the result is not that satisfactory. Discuss why this why the campaign of conservation energy uh, fail. Then again, these five reasons will be your answer. Okay. And a reason for energy conservation. And if you discuss why you need to have an energy conservation, then this six will be your answer. The question can come in two parts. For example, uh, we are we are facing the deplet depletions of non-renewable energy. All right. Discuss A, part A, discuss why we need to have energy conservations. Okay, then your this six answer, one, two, three, four, five, six will be your answer. And part B will ask why it is difficult to uh, promote energy conservations among the general public. Then you go back to this one, one, two, three, four, will be your answer. Okay. So the answer can come in part A, part B. Just how I say that, out of four questions, three questions will have part A, part B, right? Only one question that is uh, 25 marks per question. There is no part A, part B. Yeah. And resolving of the environmental problem, uh, these, are the, these are the individual uh, uh, problem that you can solve. Nuclear fuel, okay, nuclear. As far as nuclear is concerned, you need to know that we are using nuclear fission, uh, not fusion, okay? F-I-S-S-I-O-N, uh, not F-U-S-I-O-N. Okay, and then what are the major sources of, uh, uh, this is the major sources of uh, energy, okay? What What is the problem uh, faced with the, these sources? There is high consumption rate, depleting of, uh, uh, is very slow, take millions of years, okay? And uh, this one is talking about petroleum, advantages of using petroleum, right? If you're asking you, what is the advantages of using uh, petroleum as compared to coal? Then this this will be your, uh, your, your, your what we you say, your answer, yeah? High energy to weight ratio, okay? But if I'm asking you, what is the advantages of using petroleum as compared to nuclear? Then C cannot be in, huh? Okay, because nuclear is having higher energy to weight ratio as compared to petroleum, you can only uh, mention A and B only. Okay, ease of transportation easily integrated into automatic equipment. Okay, whereas new uh, nuclear power is not A and B is not that easy. All right. Oh, so this one is for your informations. For your informations, this one we have run it. Uh, gone through it. Uh, this one is for your informations. Huh? Even those I say is for your information, but you just read it and get some idea. So when you write your essay, it will be easier for you to uh, discuss. Okay. Then solutions to the uh, uh, petroleum depletion, you increase the prospecting, develop new techniques. This one, we also discussed it earlier, right? But the wording using is different. And then the environment problem is the acid rain, more efficient or combustion uh, and global warming. Yeah. This is on the coal side. This one, all this is for informations. For your informations. Uh, if we're asking you why coal is, uh, is, is used as a, what is the advantages of using coal? Okay, first is it, as compared to petroleum, it is cheap. And then that we have abundance of coal reserve. Yeah, the coal reserve is very high. It, it may not finish within 50 years. Okay. All this diagram, you no need to memorize. And then this one, you need to know what is the problem caused by caused by coal. Actually, the problem caused by coal, caused by petroleum, caused by energy gas is also the same as the uh, environmental problem caused by fossil fuel that we have mentioned just now, acid rain, global warming, right? And carbon sink, you need to know what it is. That means we are uh, storing the carbon in the true photosynthesis in the plant, or, uh, and then you bury it under the ground, and if we disturb the ground, the, the topsoil is being disturbed, the, the carbon dioxide will be released to the air. Yeah. 
Okay, solar energy, you need to know what is the efficiency of solar energy, why why people uh, prefer solar, uh, why people, why energy, solar energy is free, but why people don't want to use it, what are the weaknesses of solar energy, okay? And you when you say that solar energy is free, please be careful, uh, it's free during operations time. The installation of solar panel is very expensive. Same thing as nuclear power. Okay, the installation of nuclear power plant, the build the build of nuclear power plant is very, very expensive. But when it comes to generation of electricity because of high weight, high energy to weight ratio, so it makes it the cost is very low. But the maintenance cost is still very high. Okay, you need to make it clear at which state it is uh very costly, at which state it is very cheap. Yeah. Okay, advantages of solar energy, you need to know. And disadvantages of solar energy, you also need to know. Yeah. Okay. So this is the sun radiation. Just like I say that sun is the sole source of energy uh, for the earth. And if you can remember this, you may sketch out this one, this diagram, and then you explain. Okay. Now, when you sketch out any diagram or any graph in your exam, please label it as figure one, table one, figure two. Okay, when you discuss, you put in as shown in figure one, refer to figure one, refer to table two, as shown in table two, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you need to label your diagram. Okay, put a number there. And modes of solar collections, currently what are our technology that we can uh, harness the solar, solar power? The solar power here is not only talking about the direct solar energy, eh? it's also considered of the uh, ocean, uh, the wave on the energy and wind energy. Okay, but in the exam, if I mention about the solar energy, basically uh, uh, referring to number one and number two, okay? Advantages of solar energy, as I mentioned, you need to know, and disadvantages. Uh, if I ask you why people are reluctant to use uh, solar energy, then your, your disadvantages will be your reasons why people are reluctant to use solar energy. Okay, and if I'm asking you, it seems solar, it seems Malaysia is uh, located near the equator, but why the, the usage of solar energy is low? Okay, then what is your reasons? Your disadvantages will be your reasons. Okay, and if I'm asking you, uh, In, in order to promote uh, solar energy as one of the renewable solar energy, uh, renewable energy, what are the what are the uh, obstacles that you need to overcome? So that's mean what are the weaknesses that you need to overcome? Again, these four uh, these four uh, item will be your answer. Do you see that no matter how I change the question, your answer is still remain the same? Okay, it's only we looking at it from different perspective. Yeah, but the outcome is still the same. Okay. Hydroelectricity, you need to know the advantages and disadvantages. Advantages is explained here. Okay. These advantages here. Uh, this one is for your info. For your info. Uh, this one, I, I am not going to ask you to draw out a cartoon. Wind energy advantages and disadvantages. Basically, for the energy part, you know, need you need to know what are the and what are the advantages and disadvantages of each and every energy. Okay. This is wind energy. This one for your information only. Advantages, disadvantages. Okay. Tidal energy advantages, disadvantages. And geothermal. Okay, renewable and resource uh, and renewable energy. Nuclear, okay. Nuclear energy, you need to know what are the, uh, you no need to memorize this formula, but you need to know what are the advantages and uh, what are the disadvantages of nuclear energy. Okay. And in uh, you also need to know uh, in Malaysia context or in Asian context, uh, what are the advantages of using uh, nuclear energy? Okay, if let's say asking you, uh, if Malaysia and Indonesia is going to construct a nuclear ener nuclear energy power plant, uh, which country is safer? Then you, uh, what 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 will be your answer? 
both also we in this case we have to assume both country also have the same technical level but the indonesia is prone to have natural disaster as compared to malaysia so malaysia is safer okay if if the nuclear power plant is built in malaysia then it is safer as compared to a nuclear power plant built in uh, indonesia just in case earthquake or this uh tsunami or or, or flood uh, or, or eruption of a uh, volcano happen then the the pyro, uh, the 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 this uh will cause a serious serious damage to the nuclear power plant okay whereas in malaysia there is no such problem yeah okay so mox you need to know what is the advantages of mox yeah uh, mox and disadvantages of mox and then the nuclear nuclear power plant you need to know uh, what are the impact during the mining yeah because the mining itself is very radioactive and from the mining to transportations to generations of power what are the what are the problem face yeah okay and the gamma ray and the radiations where the where, where uh, which one is a uh, penetrate more that is a neutron can penetrate until the concrete wall isn't it okay and then the downstream effect how do you how do you uh dispose of the you uh the use rod and so forth so the problem with the power generations this one the problem you can say that it is also a disadvantages okay if the question asking you what are the problem faced if malaysia want to go for nuclear energy okay so this one will be your answer or the weakness of the uh, nuclear energy will be your answer Okay, the waste treatment, uh, you need to know the high level waste, low level waste, and intermediate level waste. Okay. What, what is the waste and how how is the high level waste being uh, disposed of, stored in the concrete and whatever, and then bar it in under the ground after 50 years into a 500 meters uh, uh, depth. Okay. Whereas the low level waste is 300 meter, uh, sorry, 100 meter underground. Okay. So the disposal of the uh, nuclear waste, you need to know. Okay, and decommissioning, and there's one another thing that you need to know is after we commission, uh, after we 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 the the nuclear reactor plant become too old, we abandon it. We we need to decommission it. What shall we do in order to decommission it? Okay, these are the things, and the place may not be suitable for a uh, human being anymore. Okay, so these are the problem with the nuclear. Uh, this is talking about the country that which country is going for. More nuclear, you no need to memorize the, the 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 percentage. Yeah, just now there is a graph to show the increase of nuclear power plant is very low, isn't it? Right. Okay, I think that's all for the uh, nuclear power plant. Ah, okay. Uh, wait, wait. Uh. Mm. Okay, this one is a cost. The cost you no need to memorize it. Okay. Hydrogen fuel cell is for your information only. Okay. This one is the last. Uh, this one is for your information. Okay. Any question? I have gone through with you for the CLO2 and CLO3. And during the exam, please write your, 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 uh, you need to think fast, uh, think in English and write in English. And then every point, one point, one paragraph. Okay. And make sure that you submit it. Uh, your, your, your exam is two and a half hours exam, four answer, four question. After two and hour, after two and a half hours, you are given 30 minutes to scan and upload your, your answer okay if you unload you upload it 35 minutes five minutes later your 10 marks will be deducted okay and when you upload it one hour later then you will straight away go to zero marks you get it all right so any question for your revisions uh sir yep, yep. so uh we are using handwritten right handwritten yes uh, okay and return uh, and you need to on your camera uh, make sure your camera is on oh, okay okay so any, any any other questions if no question i will end the class here uh sir yep 
for the for the last lecture, the safety one, mm. you know how to do that? Uh, safety is not inside. Okay. I only okay, so test you on technology and society, natural resources. Uh, this uh, what is that? Uh, environmental issue and also energy usage. Okay. Okay. Two uh, question on two question on uh, technology and society. Two questions on uh, energy and uh, environment and uh, resources. Mm, and and it exclude the and yeah it, and it as as good the hydrogen fuel cell uh. Uh, as good hydrogen fuel cell yeah. Okay okay thank you sir. Um, because those uh, I teaching you late one I I I know that you may have uh, a lack of time to do a revision so I, I ignore that part. Okay, any other question? Oh, uh, sir. Yep. Yeah, in Azena, if we write in paragraph, then after we done, then we realize we want to add point, extra point in it. Can we draw a line and continue right? Can. Yeah, okay. That's why I asked you to put in the paragraph form easier for you to check. After you, you, you find out uh, the question asking for four points, you write only three points. Draw a diagram, uh, I'm a, a draw an arrow. Uh. Okay. Okay. So any other question? Okay, if no question, I have a question to, to, to ask you. Okay, Kai Chen. Ah uh, yes. What have you learned from this paper? What I learned from this paper. Yes. Uh I learned how to think fast. Oh. You learn how to think fast only. Uh? Mm. Okay, how about Yong Sim? Lim Yong Sim? Yes. <clears throat> yes, what have you learned from this this paper? Uh how to not convert from Chinese to English when building a sentence. How to what? Not to build your sentence with Chinese. Ah. Uh, besides this? Besides the content this. you never learn anything. Uh environmental issue. Okay. How about Victor? Uh, what I learned? Uh? Mm. Not sure. Huh? Not sure. Uh, oh, you learned not sure from this paper. <laughs> <laughs> then your exam also not sure, is it? Dangerous uh, guy already. Uh? Uh, I would say more critical thinking. Uh. More cri uh, critical thinking is important for this paper. Okay, uh, Ken Long? How can known? Uh, I, 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 I changed my question already. How to further improve the, 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 the teaching of this uh, uh, paper? Uh, like a quiz, something like for Gumit, they, they have a quiz, ma, so maybe we can let, you can, yeah, we can let next, next time maybe uh, so can let us uh, answer some question like choose uh, like some optional question like A, B, C. Uh. During lecture or during tutorial? Uh, during lecture. Oh, that's mean halfway during the lecture, then come out with a, a quiz on the spot. Uh, something like that. Uh. Uh, uh. Okay, okay. Thank you. Any other, other suggested method? Hello? Uh, yeah. You, have so you are you are still ask, ask, asking me, right? I asking everybody, including oh, okay. you. Oh, okay. Uh, For me, I don't have already. Yet. Okay. How about uh Jun Ming? Uh, yes, sir. Yes. How to how to further improve the the teaching of this? Uh, I the, think uh, I. Providing some example, more example on illustrating the point, like you can put an additional reference for us to refer to. La. For example, mm. like some, some of the term that is difficult to understand, then you can add another lecture note by providing the reference, like providing the link in the Google Classroom for us to read by ourselves. If will you all read or not? Can, huh? If I put additional link, will you read or not? 
Yeah, for sure. I will read uh, if I don't understand okay. the particular topic lah. Uh, mm. For me lah. Uh. Mm. But if the terms that uh, I you, you all do not know that you need the additional link, then I need the feedback from you all because I don't know which term you 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 all, you all, you, all, you all do not understand. Yeah. Yeah, I need the feedback. Actually, it's both way lah. Okay. Yeah. Thank, okay. Thank you, Jun Jun uh, Jun Ling. How about Bing Er? Yes. Uh, I yep. think, I think when you do teaching, you can ask student uh, what they think. Uh, so you can uh, some communication, so they won't feel very boring. I I did ask, but nobody answer. Uh, not the right? the way the way you ask. Um, mm. Mm, you huh? must force them to answer, la, Okay. Mm. Force them to answer, just like now, lah. Calling your name, lah. Yes. 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 <laughs> Okay, any other suggestions? Uh, Bingo, you see, when I say any other suggestions, nobody answer already. And you, you call EI. Uh. Call EI? Uh. Or Tan EI? Is EI in? Tan EI, are you there? No. Huh. <laughs> So call whom? Okay lah. All right. So uh, by today's uh, revision, do you think that it is useful or it is a waste of time? Tiong Li? Mm, useful, useful. Useful in what, in what way? Uh, we can save our time in doing the revision lah. Oh, so, because I say for your information, that one is useful, lah. Yeah, yeah, you narrow down the scope, ma. Uh, usually, I, uh, this is the first popular. time I'm, 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 I'm telling you to, to uh, for your information. Uh, usually, I uh, tell a student the last chapter is not in, uh, Okay. All right. How about uh, Sok Ling? Zheng Sok Ling. Yes, sir. Do you think the, the revision today is useful or a waste of time? Mm, useful. Because why, uh, why is it useful? We know which part uh, we need to concern. We, okay. we, we, need, we need to focus in the exam. Yeah. If I say something wrong, the part that comes out in the question, uh, but, but uh, I say for your information. Uh, we just uh, read through. Uh, those who are for your information, you need to read through also. yeah. Because mm -hmm. sometimes you may, you may need to get the the point to support it, okay? Although it may, I, I say it's for your information, but don't skip it. Lah, huh? Just still be true, but you don't need to spend so much time on that. Okay? All right. Zhongyi? Wong, uh, Wong so, Zhongyi? I need to, I need to answer from you. What have you learned and how to improve this, this course? Mm, basically, I learned uh, how to construct my sentences and express my thoughts mm -hmm. and learn something about the environmental uh, the engineer and society okay. relations and okay. how engineers could tackle mm -hmm. the, the society issues okay and to improve the, the class i think maybe just like others uh Cosmet mentions like have some quiz during mm. the lectures to mm. help refresh the students uh, mm. lecture. Okay. So, All right. So I'm what I'm do I'm thinking of doing is every class before the class start, I spend around five minutes to refresh back the last lecture. Do you think this help? Yeah, I think this this could be help. Okay. All right. Okay. Now there's another thing that I want to know. Uh, since you all have followed my class for, uh, for the second time, last time I asked you all to uh, answer the tutorial question verbally, right? This time I asked each and every one of you write it down and then read it to me. So which one is better? Um, for me, writing down is better because uh, it helped me uh, construct a better answer. I see. Okay. How about Victor? Uh, I think this, this time around is better. Sorry, I can't hear you. Uh, this time is better. For uh, this. better in what sense? Uh, I can, I can, I can think better lah when I write down my. But my that, that's mean the writing down, 
help you help you trigger your you your trigger you all to think lah, right? Uh, at least for me, yeah. Okay. How about Ching Yao? Bok Ching Yao? Ah, uh, same to Victor. Ah, uh, this is very easy answer. <laughs> Uh, make sure that your exact answer is not same as Ching Yao, same, same as Victor. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll get zero marks. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you guys for your suggestions. I will take into act. I will take into considerations. In fact, for the quiz, I'm thinking of doing it already. Yeah. But uh, for this time, I, I I can't manage to do it. And I'm thinking of every time just uh before the lecture start, we just spend five minutes or so, just go through uh, a quick revisions for the last lecture. So to refresh everybody's mind, yeah. Okay, any other question from you before we end the class? So you all know how to submit the question paper, everything idea. You got what? You got experience idea. Okay, if no question, then good luck. Your exam is on the thirtieth April, right? Yeah, wishing you all the best. Yeah. I will re I will release your this assignment uh paper in within one or two days yeah okay yeah usually EIS uh engineer and society is uh, early early of the week one early of the exam period okay thank you class okay thank you sir see you sir thank you thank you sir thank you Dr Chiu.